<clears throat> Hello everyone. Welcome to our weekly Facebook Live and this is a special one because this is our February virtual card class. So we are going to get started in just a minute. So I will wait for people to hop on and um, we will get started in just a moment. Hi, Mickey. Thanks for hopping on. Hi, Carla. Hello, everyone. I have some really fun cards to make with you tonight. I'm so glad that you are here. Hello, hello. It's so good to see all of you. I need to grab something really quick. So I will be right back. Okay. Hi, guys. Hi, Connie from Maine. Hi, Carol and Kelly. And Kelly, a couple of Kellys. Hi, Kim and Linda, Tara. So it's so good to see you guys. So tonight, um, because last week I we had, um, you know, a family, my we had a funeral. Um, so I couldn't do my virtual class. And so tonight we are going to be doing our Facebook Live and our virtual class all in one. And I have four really awesome cards I think to share with you. And these cards are sweet and simple, but they are really awesome. One of the cards has like a fun little tab that pulls out the sentiment, so that's really fun. And then the other card, we're gonna do a little bit of water coloring. Um, I just panicked because I thought Okay, there's my brush. I was like, where's my brush? Um, so anyway, we're going to do a little bit of watercoloring tonight. And I have like a really great masculine card as well. And just an all occasion card class. So thank you so much for sharing. Get your friends on here. Let them know. Let them join us. If you have to hop off for any reason, um, there will always be the replay here on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. It's Owl Star Stampers, and I am trying to hit 6,000 subscribers. So we are inching close, close every day. So thank you so much for, for that. So how tonight works, we have a good chunk of you on, so I'm going to go over that. If uh, you already know and you need to grab something to drink or snack on, go ahead and do that. Or if you're watching the replay and you already know, you can feel free to fast forward. But um, how it works tonight is I do a virtual card class every single month since, well, since the pandemic started. And so we make four all occasion cards each month and you can get the make and take packet for free. How you get the make and take packet is you place an online order with me using the host code and I will send you the make and takes with any order that is at least $30 before tax and shipping. So you have to use a host code because I go, uh, I pull the orders that use that code and then they get the make and take packet. Now your packet comes like this in envelopes. I didn't, I'm like running low on envelopes. So I, but like all of your pieces would be like this in an envelope and you would have four of those because there's four cards. Now you need to have your own stamps and ink. So you can, uh, you might already own these stamps uh, or sets that I'm featuring or you can purchase them or you can substitute with something similar that you might already own. So that's how this works. Now, um, if your order goes up to $50, this month you are going to get a, what did I do with them? You're going to get a free package of the beautiful polished dots right there. So these are a $750 um, dollar gift. And because it's celebration, you will also get a celebration choice at that $50 mark. Now, this month, because we're winding up celebration, if you get to $100, your order, again, you got to use a host code, um, you will get the kit, the dots, and then you're also going to get um, 
48 sheets of six by six designer series paper from me. It's gonna be assortment pack. It, um, it mostly might be retired papers because I have a whole bunch I just found. So we're gonna cut them up and sort them out and you'll get a stack of 48. So that's like a full pack. Um, let me show you. It's like getting one of, if I can find one. It's like getting one of these like uh, that you'll get. Um, assortment of six by six designer series paper. Now, if you have ordered in February with the host code and you hit any of those marks, you will automatically um, get all those goodies from me. I know several of you have and I have not been able to email you and I'm so sorry. I truly, truly appreciate you. I am uh, a little bit drowning right now and trying to stay afloat. So I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for your support. And that's how the virtual class works. Now everyone can watch, anyone and everyone can watch. And if you're on my email list, you will get the PDF. So if you have ordered or you plan to order, um, the PDF will probably not be in tomorrow's email, but the second email this week. So save it, print it if you want the, the directions. There'll be pictures, directions, and um, all the step-by-step -step for these cards. And you just have to be on my email list. If you're not, you're going to go um, to Owl Star Stampers, and then you can just click on the email or newsletter and sign up. So that's how you get the directions for the cards tonight. You just got to be on my email list. All right, enough chatting about all that stuff, but I love to go over how you can get all these fun things and offers from me. And you have until, you have until, uh, what day is it? I got to tell you the, the, the deadline to get your orders in. You have until um, Saturday night to get all of your orders in, okay? So I do know that these dots... These dots um, are on low inventory, and I did order um, a bunch. But if for some chance they go unorderable and you got your order in later, I will just substitute with probably the uh, faceted elegant gems because they are the closest thing to this. If um, So get your orders in early so you can um, get these, and or I can order more if I need to, okay? All right, so what card do you want, we want to make first? I think we're going to make, um, we're going to make this one. I have, I have these papers right on top here first. Hello, everyone. Thank you for hopping on tonight. Um, Kathleen from Florida. I hope, I'm, I wish I was in Florida with you. I'm going to turn my camera view down and we are going to start stamping. All right. So. This is what is going to be in our first card. And so I am featuring three of our punch bundles tonight. Um, if you follow me, you've probably heard me say that I love our punch bundles. I love the punches because you don't have, they're just easy and fast for me. So we are going to be using the um, Cactus Cuties bundle right here. This one right here. I just think it's so cute. I've seen a lot of really cute cards made with it. And I hope your day is on point. Just to know, hello. And then the builder punch, we'll do this little flower. This could be um, like the little container. And then it will punch out these little cactus pieces here as well. So this is what we're featuring for our first card. We're also going to be using the sailboat punch we're going to be using the hedgehog punch and we're going to be doing on our water coloring card we're going to be using the on the horizon this is a very beautiful set as well so that's what you have to look forward to tonight let me show you where you can find the cactus cuties like look at this cute card right here so the bundle is only 31.50 so i love I love these punch bundles because they're, I think, very affordable. You could get two of them for like $60 and you're getting two like stamp sets and uh, punches anyway. So where is the cactus one? I have it marked somewhere in here. No, nope, not that one. Maybe here it is. So here is the cactus cuties um, bundle that we're going to use. Look at these cute cards. They're so cute. And you can also hand cut. You can fussy cut some of these pieces out too if you want that don't go with a punch. But just a really fun set. And again, this one is $31.50. So for this card, 
the first thing we're going to, we're using um, Sahara Sand and Pear Pizzazz. This little strip of paper, it is a Pear Pizzazz piece, is, um, do you recognize this? This is from the Peach, the that Peach Designer Series paper from our annual catalog. So that's where this piece comes. Now again, you'll get all these all these pieces and we will die cut this. This is from the tailored tags, again, from our annual catalog. I love these set of tags. They come with a whole bunch. And then I'm gonna give you a piece of doily. These are the doilies from the Heart and Home. And they come in the Cinnamon Cider, the Basic Gray, and Misty Moonlight. So I love that, but then on the back, they're white, and so we're gonna use a white piece. So we need four of these little scallops. So one, two, three, four. We can cut this off. So you could make, you can get a lot of cards out of one doily. So you'll just get a chunk of your doily like that. And then you can save this for another one. So that's what you're gonna get for your first card. You're also gonna have a piece of linen thread that will be cut in there too. So let's do this. We're gonna start with here. You'll also, I will also give you a piece of white scrap paper, probably just one sheet because you will be punching out this and this and this little hedgehog here. So I'll just give you one um, sheet of paper um, for all of your stamping and punching anyway. So we have this, oh great, where's my adhesive? And um, this measures, the pear pizzazz is five by three and three quarters, and this is a one inch by five strip. And again, you don't have to worry about writing down the measurements because it, as long as you're on my email list, you will get, they will all be typed out for you. Okay, so we're just going to layer this piece here onto the side over here. And... Um, put this down. Now, if you, if cac the, these, this cactus isn't your thing, you can just put a cute little flower on this tag too. So you can use the same card layout for, you know, something different if you don't like it. But I'm telling you, the cactus is really cute. So we have this and we're going to just layer this down. I thought, uh oh, okay. So put this down. And then we're going to take our blending brush um, right here and the Sahara Sand ink. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of doily here that we have and we're going to um, change the color and make it the Sahara Sand so it ties in with our card. And so I'm just going to grab a scrap of paper here. And I'm going to um, just make sure, I think I grabbed the wrong brush. Actually, I did. So uh, I'm just going to have to use it. All right, so I'm going to, I I don't have my other brown brush. It's in the room, so this is just a old one I have. So I'm just coloring, swirling this ink on here. So then now your white little doily is, um, we it's hard to tell, you can tell on here, it's no longer white, it's now a Sahara sand color. So you could do that with any of these and make them any color. They also make a cool, um, like when you do that, it leaves that cool thing in the background too. So we're this we'll have for our tag. So now let's get our stamps out and we are going to be stamping this and this and this and this. And so we're using Sahara Sand. We're also using Blushing Bride, which is our light pink, and then Pear Pizzazz ink, which is right here. So these are the colors of ink that I have. And... All right, I have a little block here. I hope you guys are all having a, I hope you're having a great day or you did have a great day, depending on where you're at. It's winding down here on the East Coast. Um, I need like a scrap. So the thing with these builder punches are, um, 
it will punch out all these pieces. And on the sailboat one, I'm gonna show you. So I'm just gonna punch out this flower, just again on a scrap. And you just line it up and then punch it out. So we have our little flower there. And then, so it looks like that. Then we're going to do, I don't know, I think I left my chamois in the other room. It's been a busy night. My son had a basketball game. We went to that. That was super fun. It was fun tonight. It wasn't so fun the other day. <laughs> fun tonight. And uh, then I watched um, part of, the, there was another game after part of that. And then I, anyway, came here and I'm doing this. So it's been a very fun and busy day here too. Okay, I'm not quite done with that. Okay, we have our top of our one cactus. And I'm just, the the punch, I like to look at the back of my punch so I know which like way and direction to um, stamp this. So we're going to stamp this, um, gosh, here, here, like so. I should have did what I'm doing for the sailboat. I don't know why I didn't because I just didn't. Hello from Montana, Darcy. Hi, Darcy. All right, then we... We'll have this one, this one I'm going to do upside down and out over. Oh, I just did it in brown. Okay, don't do it in the wrong color. Do it in the green, the pear pizzazz. And then I'm going to punch these out. Okay, so come here. And so I want to do a cactus class. I don't know when, but I want to do an online class with this set because I, I really like it that much. And I think it would just make a fun set of cards to have. I just need to figure out the timing and make the cards, right? Okay, so we have this one. And... Then we're gonna punch out this. You can also use like little post-it notes to get them in there. So I got this right here. All the little pieces go flying everywhere like confetti. And then the last thing we're gonna do is this right here and Sahara sand. So let's grab that. Oh, and then we need our sentiment too. This one is gonna say just a note. I just, I love how this card come together. You could make this in really bold and bright colors. I did a more like not so bright. Um, and so since my punch, this is going to the side, like to the right, I'm gonna stamp it um, this way anyway, in the right color, I want the right color. So I'm gonna do that over here, right? Yes. Today, earlier today, this afternoon, I went to a card class. It was so much fun. I don't know if Mickey is still on here. So one of the ladies in my team, she lives like near me and she had a shaker card class. And so I went to her house and I attended a card class and it was super fun. And if you guys want, I can show you the cards we made because they were awesome. I told you I've been wanting to do my own like shaker card class. And um, then she told me she was doing one and I was like, sign me up. I want to come and make some cards and it was fun. I didn't have to prepare anything. I just got to show up with my adhesive and my scissors and make some fun cards anyway. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is let's just finish our, finish our stamping and then we will um, put all these pieces together. So, the sentiment is says, just a note. I'm using the one that's just a note, but you could use hope your day is on point or hello or any other sentiment really. But I'm going to stamp on the tag. Again, this is from the tailored tag dies. Um, and we are going to stamp the first, I'm going to stamp just the just a and pear pizzazz. And then the note, I'm gonna stamp in blushing bride. So I'm just only inking up this one. So, and then I'm going to stamp it on the bottom of this tag um, here. So this is going to go right towards the bottom like that. So just a, let me just wipe this off. I just grabbed a baby wipe and I'm going to move my stamp over. I don't know why I don't have a bigger block. And then on a scrap paper, so you'll get, again, you'll just use your scrap or the little 
little strip I give you guys. And you can stamp the note in Blushing Bride like that. And then what I'm going to do is take care of your stamps so you don't lose them. Now we can close up our ink pads and put this whole card together. So, all right. It's weird. I usually do virtual classes like on a Monday at like noon or, you know, more in the afternoon. But um, I have done them of one or two other times in the evening. Okay, so now let's put this together. So, so you, we need the dimensionals which are right here. And I'm going to put work from the bottom up. So the little pot that our like container that our cactus is in, that's gonna go here at the bottom. And then I'm gonna take the bigger part and put another dimensional behind here. And then this just gets stuck down here. And we're gonna take this other piece of the cactus. Now you can use the mini dimensionals too. I had some. Uh, I'm not sure where they're at. Okay, so I think a regular one will work also. I prefer the regular ones. Just, I don't know. They're just, I guess I'm just used to them because that's what we've always had. Then I'm going to put that there. And then the little flower, I'm going to take a glue dot. Just a little glue dot. And stick it on here. And then I'm gonna put that just right on top of there over here. So the little flower is gonna go there. And now we're gonna, okay, take this doily that we sponge with the Sahara sand. We're going to take this, where's our glue? Put this here and attach this on the side like that, just like it's peeking out and And we're gonna put this here. Isn't this card so cute? Okay, then we're gonna take, you're gonna take your little note that you stamped in the pink, the Blushing Bride, and we're just going to just take your scissors and cut out like this. And then another dimensional. You guys need dimensionals. <laughs> They just make everything better. We're gonna put that there. Then we're gonna grab your polished dots. So when you get your order, remember you get a full pack and they're like a, a petal pinkish color and a clear. And they have, uh, it looks like two different sizes. And I love your take your pick tool. So it has, I like to use the putty end and I'm gonna take the pink cause it kind of coordinates with that. I'm going to take a bigger one and put it here and a smaller one up here and then another bigger one over here and then to finish off the top you could put your piece of linen thread through the hole like the tag and tie it but what I like to do is because I like to lay I like it to lay totally flat I and sometimes when I pull it through like the actual hole that is punched out it doesn't do that and I know that some of my customers, it doesn't either. So here is a way to get your bow to lay a little bit flatter. You just still make your bow, trim it, make it however big you want. Again, I'll give you the, I'll give you a piece of the linen thread in your kit. Then you just take your glue dots, okay? And you just stick your little bow right on your glue dot like that. And then when you pick it off, you can just take it off. You just put it right over that little top there. And there you have the cutest little card ever. It says just a note and there it is. Um, Casey said that her oldest loves cacti so she's planning on making some note cards with her set. That's awesome, I love this set. So here's our first card, let me know what you think. And again, this would be really cute if you wanted some bold colors with like some granny apple green and some of that rainbow, sunshine and rainbow paper from the Valent uh, Valentine. From the celebration, you could put that on the side too. It would be like a really cute card. So there's our first card. And let me show you 
Um, let me get ready for our next card anyway. Let me pick up a few things, get them out of the way. So our next card, I think we're gonna do a little watercoloring. So let's do that. So we have a set of watercolor aqua painter, is that what they're called? Aqua painter brushes in our annual catalog, which I am looking around and I don't think I have one here. I think I brought the other two. So these are in our annual catalog. I want to say they might be $16 for a set of three and you get a really wide brush. So these kind of twist off the opposite way and then you literally just add water, um, just pour water, go to your sink and get water and fill them up. So we have, I just always go, they're like the opposite way. Anyway, we have that one. It has like the thicker brush. And then we have these two. Um, this one is kind of like the medium. This is what I'm going to be using, kind of the medium one. And then this one is like a more fine point, a finer pointed one. And so um, I just want to show you that doing this is not scary or hard. And you can see I have water already in my little barrel there. And then what I do recommend is that you have like a paper towel. I have just a little baby wipe here so I can clean my brush out. So what we're going to be using for this card is the On the Horizon stamp set. So we're going to be using this. We're going to be using um, Early Espresso ink. We're also going to be using balmy blue um crumb cake my lid looks a little it looks green it's like faded but it's crumb cake that's kind of what it looks like crumb cake and then pool party so we're going to be using these colors right here on our card and this is a stamp set so what i did is um I have, where did my card kit go? This is why I need it in the envelope so I don't lose my little pieces that I was holding up. Um, okay, I had all the pieces cut. So I used shimmer white um, for the paper. You could also use watercolor paper too. So watercolor paper or the shimmer white works really well with the uh, painter, those things. I am so confused on where my cards went. So just give me one second. So then the other thing that you need, um, or that I found was helpful, is in the lid of my ink pad, I took our reinker. So I always recommend when you buy an ink pad just to go right ahead and buy the reinker um, because your ink pads will need to be reinked. I just also reinked my ink pad here and I put a drop or two in the lid and then um, I can I'm gonna work with the ink here. Um, just one second. So then I have my shimmer white paper. So it does have a little, it's, it's gonna be hard to pick up on camera. There's a little sparkle and then I have a crumb cake layer and then our thick um, thick basic white. So those are these are the layers for this card anyway. So we're gonna start with the shimmer white and I'm going to just go ahead and open up my um, my three ink pads so I again balmy blue pool party and crumb cake and so you can see that I have all of these in here so there's that and <laughs> um, uh, again you want a paper towel or a baby wipe or something that you can clean your brush out of so then when you squeeze do you see like the water is dripping well, you might not be able to squeeze. The water is dripping out like onto my hand there. So we have water. Okay, so how I did it is, because I did these um, yesterday, is I'm gonna add another drip of water in each of these. So, and then I'm just going to start with a pool party first and I'm just gonna swirl this around. Now, if this bothers you, you can use like our silicone mat or 
an old like plastic container and you can also wipe this out with a, a baby wipe when you're done too to clean your to clean your lid but anyway I have it in here I added water and now I'm just gonna just eyeball it and go like this and I'm just going to um, just go back and forth and if you wanted more water um, or if you want it darker you can go over it or just don't add as much water um, so it's not as concentrated I just added a lot of water so mine is really diluted anyway so this is kind of what it looks like right now so that's our first color it's the light the lighter of the blues so now I'm gonna go in here and just kind of I'm going in another blue, so I don't have to be too careful with that. So next up, I'm going to go into our balmy blue. This is going to be our water. So we just did our sky. Now I'm going to go in with our water. And let me kind of push this up so you can see. Hopefully there's not a glare. And I'm going to do our water. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just kind of going across like that. So that's it. If you want to add a little bit, few more darker pieces, you can kind of just play with it like like that. And I'm just having them kind of meet meet there um, like that. So there's that. Really, this is so easy. I, I, if you if watercoloring isn't your thing, I'll show you a stamp set that you can just stamp and get the same effect as this. But I'm telling you, watercoloring is so fun and it it can be really easy. Okay, now we're gonna do our sand. And so I'm going to take this and um, we're going to put this at, sorry, I blowed on it for a second. And then this is going to be our sand like that. And again, you can kind of go in and add, make it a little bit darker or you can bring it down or across as much as you want. There's something like a little piece of paper right there. So then I'm just going to go over with my water. Okay, I think that is it. So that is how uh, you do it. So now we're going to let it dry for a second. And while it's drying, I'm just going to squeeze out and get my brush clean. So when it goes clear, then you're good. And then you can put your cap on. But if you're like me, you already lost your cap on your messy desk. So there's that okay but I know I'm done with the pool party so I'm closing that up closing up my balmy blue hopefully my cap will jump out at me um, crumb cake we're done with also now we're going to be using the early espresso in just a minute and I kind of like let that where is my cap the other thing is I store mine in the container like this way instead of upside down so um, I store them with the cap on with this direction anyway maybe I'll start with a cap I don't who knows where it went okay so you're gonna want to let that um, dry really good because we're gonna do some stamping over this but let me show you if you if you are opposed to watercoloring then let me show you a stamp set you can use instead you can use this one right here it's on page where did it go? I just went flipped right by it. It's in our mini catalog here, the mini one. I thought it was called Ocean Front. You can never find anything when you're live that's like a rule or something. Okay, so. Let's see, it is called Ocean Front. It's on page 39. So if you didn't want a watercolor, you could use this stamp set right here. It's $22 and you could stamp this image or these images um, kind of like over here and get this a similar effect if you didn't want a watercolor. So that this is just an alternative for you if um, yeah, the watercoloring isn't your thing, but I think it should be. Okay, you should. I think you should try it. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, while that is finished drying, we're gonna take our thick white and we're gonna fold this, our card base, and then 
um, we're going to stamp the inside of our card. So I'm gonna make this a thinking of you card. This would be a beautiful sympathy card. You could use, this could be a card for anything. So um, I'm gonna do thinking of you and I'm gonna stamp it directly on the inside. So this, um, gosh, where is where are all my blocks? I have this ginormous block in this tiny little thing. Like where is my normal ones? I don't know. Okay, so I'm using Early Espresso, and I'm just inking this up. I just re-inked like all my ink pads. So on the inside, it is going to say Thinking of You right here. So Thinking of You is right there. Perfect. I just try not to press too hard because I really inked that up. All right, so now I should I have my heat tool right here, but it's not plugged in. I'm gonna plug it in and give it a, a just a tad of this heat. So if you did a bunch of these, by the time you got done, um, your first ones would be dry. I just got something all over here. It looks like so I'm just gonna dry it for just a second just to make sure it's really dry you can go from the back and the front Okay, and something got like all over the side here. I don't know if you can see there's like a little smudge there, there, and down here. I don't know what that is. Ugh. It's probably from my block because I used too big of a block. But when it dries, it lightens. So your colors will definitely lighten. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And now we'll do our stamping. So I'm going to take... This image right here, I'm going to be using the birds and this image for the front. And that's it. But it's, this is a really, really pretty card. At least I think so. I think you're going to like it. And I'm going to stamp this along the sand at the bottom. And I'm just going to go for it. Like, I'm just holding it for a second. So again, we're, I'm using the shimmer white paper, but you could totally use the watercolor paper also. I don't know what that is. Let me see if it, no, nope, it's not coming off either. Okay, I guess it's on there. All right, and then I'm gonna take these uh, birds that are flying right here, and I'm going to stamp them kind of flying off the page. Just wanna make sure they're, going the right direction and um, with this stamp you don't want to press in your ink pad too hard or you could get ink all in between um, on the red rubber and then when you stamp I've had this happen to me if you press too hard depending on if you're heavy-handed or not it will mess up your paper so just with these like kind of littler images just be aware of that so I'm gonna stamp this here like that and then we're going to put this one together. So you just bring this in. I'm gonna close this up. Take my adhesive. Okay, after this card, I'm gonna. Sh I'll show you what I made today at my at my class. And I have a few other cards to show you too. Okay, so I'm just adding because there was water. I'm adding a lot of adhesive on the back here, and I'm going to stick this on like this and in my original card I didn't dilute I didn't add as much water to the lids and so this one is a little bit lighter so you'll see that when I show you my original one I'm going to flip this over and add this on like so 
Now, if you wanted, you could stamp words directly on the front. I just wanted it to be like this beach scene with the water and the sky and the sand. So there is our card. And there is a, I know it's not going to pick up on camera, but there is a little bit of shimmer in there. And then the thinking of you. So here's my first one where it didn't have quite as much, um, it was more, the ink was more saturated. So you can see the blues are a little bit, especially these are a little bit darker. And um, yeah, and then this one also just says the thinking of you inside. So there's that. But again, if try the watercoloring. I promise it's easy and it's really fun. And then um, if not, though, you can get that other oceanfront stamp set too. But there is our second card. Okay, so... Let me show you what I made today. These were really fun cards. We did four different shaker cards using four different um, stamp sets. And so the first one is using um, the, the set in the front of our mini catalog with the Valentine stuff. Like again, we this is a wedding card. It says wedding wishes. It's heat embossed in the gold. Again, I did not design these cards. Um, Nikki, is, uh, uh, she's in my team. She designed these. I went to her class. So it was a lot of fun. So there's those. And these little shaker things are, um, they're called the From My Heart Faceted Gems. So we sell these in our annual catalog. So there was that. And this paper is from the annual catalog in the polished pink ribbon. So there was that one. And then we made... Um, this card with the ocean stuff, that ocean set. Um, those little sequins are retired, um, but you can use any like sequins. We have other ones, or if you might already even have those. Isn't that a fun one too? And then we did this beach one with sand. And so again, this these sets are in our um, annual, or the this one is from the mini catalog. There's the little rocks in the um, sea glass. So that is fun. This is the celebration paper. We're going to be using this tonight. And then the last one we made, which I really, really love. I have this and I want to play with it is the bubble gum. And so um, there is that card. And look at this little opens up and the, the little gumballs are coming out. So those were the cards I made today. Aren't they fun? Super fun. It was a fun class. So she inspired me to to really even more so want to do a shaker card class. But um, my only holdup is that it's a lot of, it's multiple different stamp sets anyway. So people would have to have those. Um, here's another card I made the other day with that stamp set. You get free with a $300 order. And so um, I just stamped it on a circle and then it says, you make me smile. And this is Highland Heather. So I wanted to show you um, that card, too, that I made. Okay, moving on to our third card. We are going to be using the hedgehogs. And so for this card, you might get a different color than me, depending on, just depending on it. So I'm using the Marvelous, um, Simply Marvelous Designer Series paper. And so there's a pink and the yellow, the purple, this other blue, a gray, and a blue. So you might get the pink, the yellow, the purple, or um, this color. So you might get a, a variation of this, but they're all gonna be cute, I promise. We are also going to be using the Hedgehog Bundle, which looks like this, and it does have a coordinating punch right here. So you can, um, you can build a hedgehog directly out of the punches because there's a couple little eyes there. And or it punches out this cute little guy right here. And let me show you where the hedgehog is. It is on page 64 of our mini catalog. And it is right here. So it is... So this one is $32.25. The stamp set is only $18. And then with the $18 punch, you can get a 10% savings um, if you get it in the bundle. But here's a stamp set. Here's a couple cute cards. 
And this one is gonna have a fun little pull tab for the sentiment. So I decided to use the So Saffron, but then I'm gonna show you another card that somebody in my team made with the hedgehog set in the Highland Heather and it's really pretty. So that's one of the options. So we're starting with So Saffron. We're gonna use that marvelous paper and it's four by three and we're just gonna layer this on the side except for that dimensional back that they, they always get everywhere. Also on that card, I just did the watercolor card. You could add some of those dots if you wanted. I just didn't, I just kept it simple because I just love the simplicity of, I just love the simplicity of this card like so much. Um, I just think it's, it's just so pretty. Just, and you could make this on a note card too if you wanted. And so anyway, you could add some of those little dots or gems or whatever if you wanted. I was gonna, I meant to mention that. Okay, so then we have our scalloped and contoured dies. With that, it has a little stitching. You're gonna get a little white piece that will fit right inside of the stitching. And then you're gonna get a little half inch circle um, or you're going to want to use something small like that. And then you'll have a little strip of white here. So we are going to use for this one early espresso. And then we need pear pizzazz again, which this color we already used. And then, is that it? And then we're going to use a few of our Stampin' Blend markers in crumb cake, um, light old olive, and I have the dark so saffron. So we're going to use a few of our blend markers. So let's do our stamping. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some grass. So there's grass there. Oh, we're also going to use a basic gray as well. So I'm going to do the grass along the bottom here in pear pizzazz. Um, Vicki said that we made a rainbow shaker card and, um, with the rainbow bundle. Oh, I bet that's that was a lot of fun too. That sounds pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna go all the way along the bottom here. And I'm not just, I'm just, I'm not being too particular, but just go along the bottom and add your little, your little grass there. And then um, I'm going to take my, we don't have a pair of pizzazz, Pear pizzazz and our stamp and blend, but the light old olive is pretty close. So I'm just gonna take this and I would take a scrap paper. What did I do with mine? I don't know. I need I need help. And I'm just gonna fill this in. I need a paper. I can't do this like this way. What am I thinking? Okay, grab a piece of paper, scrap paper. I got a thousand of them. Just know where where I need it. Okay. I'm going to take the brushed end too to make it go a little faster. And I'm just filling in some of that white along the bottom where we just did the grass. And I just think it looks, I liked it. I had it one with and one without, and I liked this better. So this is, and it only just takes a quick minute to color this in. And then we're going to take our hedgehogs and that we're going to stamp the hedgehogs in early espresso. So you can use our blends with our um, regular ink pads because these are water-based and it's not gonna smear your alcohol marker. So that is just uh, something to know if you did not know that already. So there we have that. And then you can see the little details in the grass up close. Okay, we're done with this. So now let's take our hedgehog. And open up your early espresso. And we're going to stamp this guy over here in the early espresso. I'm just gonna make sure he's in the grass. And then, okay, so there's one. Then we're gonna take the other one on, and you're gonna just use your, you'll just use your scrap paper that I give you. And we're going to stamp the other one the other hedgehog and then we're gonna use the punch and punch it out. So I'm just using a lot of miscellaneous scraps that I have and he is on the side so I'm gonna stamp it 
on the side as well, um, like so. I might, hopefully, I left enough room. If not, I'll just do it again. So we're gonna take this and slide it in. And you can see it lines up, or you're gonna wanna line it up. And punch this cute little guy out. Okay, so now we're gonna color him really fast. Um, let's do our butterfly also. So I, for that, I'm just gonna use the basic gray. You could use a memento black too. And I'm going to do this cute little butterfly. So look at, there's um, a little mushroom in this little branch with flower. Look at that bird with the flower too. This is just a really sweet set, I thought. I've been waiting, I've been dying to play with it also. So basic gray, and we're gonna stamp the little butterfly up here like that. Okay, now we're done with most of our stamping. We have to do our sentiment still, but let's let's get this done. So I'm gonna take my dark crumb cake marker and I'm going to just fill in all where all the little hairs are with the dark crumb cake. And this goes pretty fast too. Did you guys see we have the new uh, skin tone blends? You can purchase those early. And I just didn't think when I colored this in, but you can get a set of um, two, four, six, eight different markers. And they make all different kinds of skin tones. But what's great is you can use them to color in animals or, you know, trees, a lot of nature -y things. We use the, the skin tones also. So they are um, available now if you would like those. And I believe the whole set, the whole collection is $45. So coloring this one in, and then we're going to take the light one and do the inside of him, the light crumb cake. Holly said, I love the hedgehog set. Oh, I'm so glad. It's a, it's a really cute one. I have another card to show you with this one too. Okay, so color this in. Maybe I just need to do an online class with, with more just more of these cards. The hedgehog, the cactus, the sailboat one, you guys, is really good too. I bought these right away and I just have not had any time to make cards with them yet. Okay, I'm doing, I did the little feet too. Okay, now I'm gonna take the light crumb cake and I'm just going to color in this inside. So, just like this. This one is about seeing its day. Your markers will dry out just like any other marker. But it depends on usage. Like if you don't use them a lot or like if you use them a lot like me, you'll just need to replace it more. But I mean, they last me a good while, but I use them a lot. We use them in my classes. But just like you would have to replace your Crayola markers, you'll replace these too. But they're my favorite markers if you didn't know that. <laughs> I love the blends. I love the alcohol markers for so many reasons. They don't leave those lines. They just blend so nicely and you can just yeah they're amazing okay then we have the I'm using the dark so saffron you could use the light and we're just going to color in this butterfly okay now this we're going to make a cool pull tab like I said and it's going to be so easy on this card then I'm going to take the wink uh, the Wink of Stella, the glitter brush, and go over the butterfly because every butterfly needs a little sparkle. Right. Now let's start putting this card together and make our little tab. So we're going to um, layer this on here first. I, I can't remember the measurement of this white. Again, it'll be in the tutorial. I think it was three and a quarter by one and something. I was almost two inches, I think. It was just shy of two inches, if I'm correct. Then we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna put dimensionals on the um, outside edges. And so what I did is, um, so we have, 
What you're going to want to do though is the strip I give you, you're going to want to make sure that this is in there because this is what's going to, it's going to like kind of slide in and out here. So then you're just going to put two more over here like that. And hopefully that, gosh, I'm getting ink all over. Make sure your hands are clean. Mine clearly are not. I'm ruining all my cards tonight. Probably because I keep using this dirty thing. I'm going to get a new one. Oh, baby wipe. All right. So now we're going to put this on here. And then I'm going to take this little hedgehog. He's going to cover up my boo-boo over there. <laughs> he might be a little further than I really wanted, but you know what? He's going to save the card, and that's going to be awesome. And then we're going to um, put this guy right here like that. Aren't they so cute? Okay. We're going to take this and stamp our sentiment. Uh, Vicki said... Dang, you're so you're quick and good evening from Snowy Wyoming. I know I am. I tr I try to. I'm just a fast stamper, a uh, color whatever. Um, we're also going to stamp this. It says finding a friend is the best discovery of all, and then it also has it's so it's so nice of you to be so nice. The fonts are really really cute. So I'm going to be using the friend one. Finding a friend is the best discovery of all because we have two, we put two hedgehogs on here. So grab that sentiment and I'm going to go back to my early espresso ink pad. So I'm going to take this um, and my block and I'm going to stamp it. Um, I'm going to stamp it, but not like all the way over. I'm gonna, cause we're gonna fold this little tab. Cause it's gonna, hopefully that tab is gonna be like, pull me. So we're gonna stamp that. And then, just cleaning this off. And we're going to, we're done with the ink now. All right, so your little um, half inch circle, you're gonna fold, just kind of fold it in half and it might not look pretty at first, but just keep folding it so you get it in half and then squeeze it, pinch it really good and then open it up and add your glue and then it's gonna stick to your fingers like it did for me. <laughs> then you're just gonna take this and put it in the center of this little tab like that. So we're creating a little tab here. And then what did I do? I'm trying to remember what I did. I think I made it a banner. Yep, I did. So you can take your scissors. You can, you can leave it straight like this. You could cut it in an angle or you can make it a banner. And I'm just having it longer so that it will, um, it will stay like position and not like turn wonky in there. So then this can go in here like so, but to finish off, we need those dots. So we're going to take these dots and I'm going to use the petal pink ones because on the card, they kind of take on the yellow. And so then you'll have more white ones. So um, we're going to put a little, the, one of the little pink ones right there on that little tab. Do you see that little tab there? Then we're gonna add um, several more over here. So we're gonna take one of the bigger ones and put it up here. And then another bigger one and put it down here. And then a couple more of those smaller ones. So there is, so here's our card. It looks like this. And then you just pull this and your sentiment is there. And then you can just slide it back in there like that. It's like sticking to my finger. But there is that card. So I hope you like that. It's a fun way to do it easy, like little, um, to pull your little sentiment out. So there is that. Now I can't get this one back in. So, oh, I saw your hearts. Thank you. So there's a cute little hedgehog. Now, 
You might get yellow like me or you might get purple. Here's a card that my friend Ann made uh, showing the purple. So it would look good in purple, pink, the blue, any of the colors will, will look good. And I'll give you obviously the coordinating card stack to go with the paper. But here was her card and it has, it's like kind of like a little fun fold. And the, that marble paper is folded in. But that's kind of what it looks like in the purples. Isn't that cute? So her card was my inspiration for this one. Um, so there's that. Again, this bundle was $32.25. So there's that card. If you just hopped on, I will show you all four cards at the end. Okay, so we're going to do our last card, which I, again, really, really like. So our last card, let me clean up here. I got stuff all over the place, is featuring the Let's Set Sale stamp set and the Sale Builder Punch. Um, this right here. I'll show you where it's at in the catalog. And again, the this would make a great set of cards too. Really sweet and simple and uh, stunning. Sweet, simple, and stunning. That's what we're doing tonight. It's on page 70 of our catalog, and the mini. And the set sale stamp set is only $17, and the punch is $18. You can get it in the bundle for $31.50. There's some really great ideas up here, and so um, that's what we're using. Now, for me, I'm going to pull in my sentiment from the Wildlife Wonder set, which I just featured for my card club this month. So shout out to all my Owlette card club members. If you're in the card club, put in the comments, card club or Owlette card club. Let me know that you're on here. We have 125 of you. So um, shout out to all of you. But this is a stamp set we're using this month. And I'm going to use the sentiment to a great guy. But you could totally use any of these also. This one says, let your... Dream set sale. That would also be great for like, you know, a graduation card or something. Um, adventure awaits. Again, that would be good for that too. And then hope it's your best day ever. Oh, I see all of your, um, <laughs> some of your comments coming through. So they're in the card club. Awesome. Okay. So for this card, we are using, let me grab my inks real quick. We're going to be using Knight of Navy. Uh, crumb cake. I try to use some of the same color inks. Crumb cake and misty or balmy blue. Okay, these three cards. I am going to use a touch of real red. So these are the colors we're using. So I tr I try not to use like 50 different ink pads for you. I try to kind of stick with them. So these this is our color palette. And I'm going to show you how I stamp this. So do you see that? We're going to use, I'm going to show you this template trick for our builder punches. And um, this is what you need. So you're going to get these pieces in your kit. So this is our, let me get all this stuff out of the way. This is our um, thick white again, thick basic white. Go ahead and fold that. And then we have Knight of Navy that's four and a quarter by three and a quarter and white that is four by three. Again, all in your tutorial. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna show you my little punch trick. So um, if you're at home, you can take any of your builder punchers punches and do this. You're just gonna punch, put this in and punch it out. And then you can obviously use these or whatever, but now you have a template here. And I could use this one, but I just showed you what I did. You can use these pieces and you can build your own little sailboats with any colors that you want with these. Okay, so then you're gonna have your scrap paper. I'm just gonna use um, this end over here. And you're going to just kind of line it up. And if you want, you can tape it down with some washi tape or post-it note tape. That is the one thing I've been trying to get is post-it note tape. And I ordered some off Amazon. And guess what? I ordered the wrong stuff. It wasn't the right thing. So I need some post-it note tape so bad. Um, so I'm just going to use a piece of washi tape right now. Some of my, and I'm just going to tape that down like that. So then for this, I'm going to use the Knight of Navy first. 
So we're going to take our stamp set and what you'll do is you'll just um, take these pieces out and um, ink this up and then it's going to show you right where to stamp. So then when I stamp all these pieces, I can line it up and then I won't have all that scrap either. So it takes a little, like a hair longer, but this is a way, and this stamp is not a perfect stamp. It's supposed to look like it's a little worn and weathered. So don't think you got a defective stamp if it comes like that. That's how it's supposed to be. So then you will fit, I, can't, I put this on upside down, of course. Don't do it upside down. I'm like, why won't this fit? Maybe maybe I could have made it work, I don't know. Now it's the right way, so. I'm showing you, I like to show you all the things of what to do and not to do. <laughs> so, make sure it's going the right way. Then you're just going to fit this. You can see, I'm gonna put this one right here. Um. Oh no, you or, you got the wrong stuff too? Oh, I feel so bad for you. I'm sorry, I know. I've just heard and seen great things with it. I'm so afraid, I need, hopefully my head isn't getting in here. So, this is going down here like this, hopefully. Okay, I did, it worked, okay. Then clean that off and then we're gonna repeat it with the other one. I don't know why, it's like I can, I'm just afraid it's not gonna work. If it doesn't work, we'll just use another piece of paper, right? It's not the end of the world. Okay, then we're going to come in with the other sail. And we're going to ink that up in Night of Navy ink. Again, you can make your sailboat any color you want. Sorry, I need to pull this down so I can kind of see where it's going. Um, like that. That one's not as great, but I'm going with it. Um, and then... The last thing is our, like the center of our boat. And for that one, we're going to use crumb cake and then a little bit of the red. So you could totally grab your Stampin' Right marker in, um, this one is gonna go off because I don't have the right thing. So Stampin' Right marker, you don't wanna use your blends because that will stain your stamp. I'm going all the way to the top, but not to the flag. So my little flag, there's a little flag at the top and that I'm gonna just dab it in my Real Red. Now, if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you might have a ink spot in Real Red or you can grab that marker. I'm just doing, I'm just like lightly, do you see, I'm lightly tapping just that tiny little thing. And then guess what? I got red on the side so I'm gonna be picky about this. I'm gonna wipe it off and then go back in with my crumb cake. The marker would be the easiest, just so you know, if you have the Stampin' Right markers. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna tap it on the edge with the brown. Okay, so then I'm gonna go in here. Okay, so then I'm going to Try to line this up like so, and then like that. Okay, so there we have that all done. So now we can just take this little template thing off, right? And it's gonna hopefully punch out really great for us. So then what you can do, except for you might because I cut the paper all weird. You might have to cut it down. So this will just slide in here. Oh my gosh. See how it just fits in there all like that? And just position it where it needs to be. And then you can give it a good press and then there you have it. All the pieces that come out are exactly the pieces that you want. 
So we're gonna set those aside and we're gonna finish our stamping on our little piece here. So we're done with the red and I'm done with the crumb cake. I need Night of Navy and Balmy Blue. So next up, I need the big, this um, big, bigger block and we're going to be using the water here. See, I just, I like the water there. We're gonna also use the reflection and the little birds here too. So a couple different um, water scene cards tonight. Um, so I'm gonna put this big stamp here and I'm gonna build up the bottom of our water here. So, and since it, uh, my paper is not as wide as a stamp, I'm not, you can see I'm just going, I'm not inking up the whole stamp and I'm just going to stamp the bottom and then stamp it again. Just make sure I don't have any lines though. And then I might just do a little bit more, just maybe not quite one. So I did about two and a half. And then, so that is what that looks like. So next up, we're gonna take um, our sentiment. And so again, I'm coming in, I want this one that says to a great guy. I'm on a guy kick. I'm stocking up my masculine cards. This does not have to be a masculine card though, but that's what I want to make it. And I'm going to use the Knight of Navy ink pad and I'm going to stamp up here in the corner. Up here like that. And then I'm going to take the, um, that will, we're going to put our boat together and then we're, we'll do our reflection. So to put the little sailboat together, I just used um, a few mini glue dots. It was really, really easy. Hi, Patsy. Thanks for joining tonight. So I'm going to take a glue dot like at the bottom corner and then up at the top. And then I'll just kind of like fold it over because the glue dot's a little bit smaller. And then I will take this and it will just touch there and then up at the top. And I don't know if you can tell, but you can see my little flag up there is red. And then we'll take this side and do the same on the other two pieces. This way, and then I kind of know where to put my little reflection. So okay, just use your little glue dots here. And then I'm just gonna fold this over and fold this one down. And then this will go here and then here. And then it there is that little space for where the wind goes. Okay, now it's stuck to my finger. So this is gonna come somewhere over here. So grab your reflection on See, it has like this little reflection here for the boat. So cute. And we'll use the Knight of Navy. And it's gonna go somewhere about here. So we'll stamp that. And it looks like I missed a piece of it over there. There, got it. All right, and then the little birds. So we'll do that and we'll finish off this card. Thank you so much for staying with me tonight. We're going a little bit later than normal, but um, I, I'm not really sure why, but we are. So we're gonna pop this up in just a second, but let's just put our little birds. Again, don't tap too hard in that ink. Just lightly tap, tap, tap. And then the same when you stamp. And then I'm gonna put a few little birds over the edge there as well. All right, so then we're done with here. I'm wiping off my fingers on the clean part. And then we're gonna um, come in with these pieces. Take your little boat and we're gonna take those dimensionals and put a couple on here. 
Now I put a mini dimensional on the bottom of the sailboat there. I have no idea where they're at. They're disappeared. They're with the cap of my um, aqua painter or water painter, whatever those are called. They're hanging out together. Okay, then we're gonna put our boat on. Have any? Do you have any of you love sail going sailing on a sailboat? Have you been? I've never been on a sailboat. I think I would be a little scared for some reason. I've seen lots when we've been like in Hawaii, but I don't know why they just kind of terrify me. <laughs> then going to add my adhesive here. Layer this to my Knight of Navy. Okay, then take this, flip it over, add here. And then this is gonna go right on this card. This card, I just love it. I hope you guys love it too. I hope you can um, change out your colors. And Holly says sailboats are so much fun. All right, I'll take your word. I'll take your word on that. Okay, come in with your little dots that you're gonna get with every order. As long as you go at least $50 with the host code, you're gonna get these. Um, if you already ordered this month, they're on their way, unless you, and then I'll go over all the specials. I'm gonna add three of these little dots on here too. I'm using the clear ones this time. And we're gonna take this one over here and put it down there. Um, so I use those, the clear dots, and then they're kind of right there. Um, but that is our card. And then here is this one. So that is our last card. So I hope you love it. This is, the sailboat set is really great. Again, I love the punch bundles. I featured three of them tonight. Um, the words for this one, the to a great guy came from the wildlife wonder, but you could use this or any ones that you like. Um, we use the on the horizon and we did the water coloring. So check out, try out the water coloring right here. So easy and pretty. And then on the inside, it says, I'm thinking, uh, thinking of you. So there was another card we did. Then we did the hedgehogs and uh, with this card. And this has a fun little pull. So you will see this and pull out the sentiment that says, finding a friend is the best discovery of all. So again, you might get a purple, a yellow, a pink, or a blue. Your card might vary. There might be a variation of that. Okay, and then we started off with the Cactus Cuties bundle, and we made the Just a Note with this um, stamp set, and there is a punch for that as well. So if you want to get the make and takes for these, you'll get to make one of each of these. I will send you all the card pieces. You will get the shapes die cut for you. Now you will have to have your own punches because everything that we did on here was stamped and then punched out. So, or you will have to just die cut it if you don't have the puncher, you have a stamp set. Um, so I will send you all of these. You'll get the doily, the thread, and then um, to get the make and take packet, remember you have to use this host code up here by Saturday night. It has to be at least $30 before tax and shipping and you'll get the make and take packet only. You need to provide your own inks and stamps or substitute. If you go up to at least 50, don't forget, celebration is still going on. You get to pick an item out of here and you will get these beautiful polished dots from me. Now they're on low inventory, I ordered uh, a bunch but if for some reason they sell out and I don't have enough, I will substitute it with the Elegant Gems, which are similar, but these are new, so you're gonna want these. So get your order in soon, don't wait. Um, now, if you go over up to $100, you'll get to pick out two celebration, or you can pick the level two choices, which is the Friendly Hello, or this um, special moment stamp set. And then you'll get all of this plus 48 sheets of six by six designer series paper, a variety pack um, from my retired stash. I have a bunch, I'm gonna be cutting it up and you will get that. That's like a full pack of paper as well. So um, if you go over $150, do not use the host code, just select me as your demonstrator and you will still get all of these perks plus your own host rewards. 
The other thing I want to mention is there is this beautiful set that I used last week. You get this um, by having your own um, party. You can do that. You can do it with friends. It has to be, your order has to be $300 and you get this set free as well. It's a gorgeous set. So that is how you get in on tonight. Um, just a, a quick reminder is, um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, last month a few people said, when, when uh, will my card kit come? You have until Saturday to order. So once the once everyone gets their orders in, then I will order the card stock that I need. Now some of this stuff I have so I can start prepping it, but if I don't have it, I might have to order some of these supplies and then I have to wait to get it, prep it, put your kits together, and then I ship it out. So it takes usually at me at least on the quick end, at least a week and a half from the time the virtual class ends on Saturday. So just keep in, in mind, uh, you should have them in about two two weeks from, you know, because the shipping, it, it just is crazy. Sometimes it comes super fast, sometimes it don't. Holly that was on here earlier, she lives um, a few hours from me. I mailed her a Thanksgiving card on November 20th and she got it two days ago. Her Thanksgiving card. She got it two days ago. It's like, what, February? She got it on Valentine's Day, her Thanksgiving card. Uh, that shouldn't happen, uh, but just kind of a funny thing we were laughing about. So um, that's just how it works. If you want the directions for this and if you're ordering, save the email. It won't be in tomorrow's email, but it'll be in the next email that will come out later this week. So um, just print off the PDF or save the email in your email some of you might be like me and have thousands of emails. Just flag them um, or you can print it off if you want. But I hope you love the cards we made tonight. I tried to give you a good variety. Like this card you could use for a lot of different things. Um, this card, again, you, it could be for, you know, several different things as well. And um, actually, almost all of them. So we got a little bit of cute, a fun and then some just really good classic colors here. So I hope you love them. I had so much fun spending Wednesday night with you. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions getting your order in, or if you just have a big order and you're like, I want to get a, a discount, then I would love to have you join my team. We've had several people join. And right now through the end of February, you get two free stamp sets any value for free also. They just can't be the host or the celebration ones. But you can pick out any two stamp sets that you would like. I would love to have you join my team. If you have any questions about that, I have information on my website, Owl Star Stampers, or you can reach out to me. So have a great night. Let me know what your favorite card is out of all of these. Um, let me know what your favorite is. And yes, I will see you guys later. Have a great, great rest of your week. I hope you had a wonderful Valentine's Day too on Monday. See you later. Bye.